Hi everyone, it's Eagle of Zeus here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of my uh, personal animal associations for some of the gods. Um, most of them are historical, but some of them are my own UPG. And this is just for some of the gods, not uh, mainly the gods I'm closest with, but also some other gods as well. But the, like I said, these are just my personal animal associations for them, or basically like their, their animal symbols, I guess. Um, and like I said, uh, most of them are historical, but some of them are my own UPG. So um, for Zeus, I associate mainly uh, the eagle with him, which is definitely historical. Um, but for me, it's mainly the bald eagle instead of the golden eagle. Um, historically, he's more associated with the golden eagle, but for me, it's the bald eagle, mainly because that's how he always appears to me, like, in dreams and stuff. Like, when I do have, like, a dream with him in it, uh, he appears to me as a bald eagle. And also, like, when I ask him for, like, a sign, he normally sends me, like, bald eagle symbolism, which makes more sense because, you know, like, I live in America and, like, the bald eagle is, like, our national animal, so it's probably easier for him to, like, send bald eagle, uh, symbolism. Not necessarily, like, actual bald eagles, but, like, you know, pictures and stuff. Um, I ha- I have seen a couple bald eagles, I think, in real life, but I'm not sure because it was kind of from a distance, so I- I think they were bald eagles, but I'm not positive. But anyway, so for Zeus, the bald eagle is mainly, is the main animal I associate with him, but really any eagles. And then another animal I associate with him is the lion. And that one, I'm not, I don't really think it's historical. I don't recall seeing anything that he's associated with lions, but I think that's just my UPG, but it, it might be historical. There might be, um historical, um, there, there might be historical, uh, um, associations with the lion, but yeah, so the second animal is the lion. And then for Apollon, um, the animals I associate with him is blue jay, hawk, swan, snake, dolphin, and wolf. So he has a lot. And the majority of those are historical. The only one that isn't is the blue jay. Well, that one's like, kind of semi-historical because he is associated with crows and ravens and they're part of the same family the corvid family as blue jays but with blue jays that's a personal thing for me in apollon because um because there's so many crows in my area i actually asked him if he can send me blue jays specifically as a sign so i know it's a sign because i see crows all the time so if I ask him for a sign and I see a crow, I wouldn't be certain it's a sign. So I actually asked him if he can send me blue jays specifically as a sign. So I, that's why the blue jay is my, the main animal I associate with him. Because every time I see a blue jay, I kind of take it as a sign. Especially if I had been asking for a sign. So yeah, blue jays are the main bird I associate with Apollon. And then for Artemis, deer and wolf, which are both um, historical. And then for Hecate, dog, snake, and boar, which are all historical. Um, for um, Hera, peacock, cow, and lioness, which are all historical. Um, I, I think, well, no, wait, there's, there's a few more on here that aren't historical. Um, and then for Aphrodite, um, the dove and the dolphin are the main animals I associate with her. I know there's a lot more, and, and, um, really I think pretty much all animals really could be associated with Aphrodite, because, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I see nature and I see animals as all being beautiful, so I really think you could see, um, Aphrodite and all the animals, but th those are just the two main animals I associate with her, the dove and the dolphin. And then for Dionysus, the leopard and the bull, which are both historical. Um, for Hermes, now I have two on here for him that are not historical, and those are the hummingbird and the rabbit are not historical. Those are my personal UPGs. 
And then I also associate the tortoise or turtle, which is historical, and the hawk, which is also historical. But yeah, the hummingbird and the rabbit. I, The hummingbird, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because they're really like fast flying birds. And I have, I, I do have um, uh, a couple things like have happened with hummingbirds for me that there, there had been two times before where one time I had just done a ritual to Hermes. I had, I did it outside. I was doing a ritual to Hermes and I looked up after the ritual, after I had said a, a hymn to him and, uh, there was a hummingbird like hovering above me, like looking at me. And then it, it stayed there for a second and then flew away. But I just couldn't help but feel like that was Hermes. And then the, another time that this was like, I think like a couple years later, I was do, once again, I was sitting in my car because uh, every, every time I go somewhere or if I go home, but every time I like reach my destination, I say a quick prayer to Hermes, like thanking him for the safe travel. And I was sitting in my car um, doing that, saying a, a prayer to him. And I look out the window. I just, for some reason, got the urge to, like, glance over out the window. So I look out the window, and there's a hummingbird, like, hovering by the window looking at me again. And then it, it stayed there for a second and flew away. Same thing with the other time. And, and like, I hadn't seen a hummingbird for, like, two years. It, it just, I don't know. Like, those, those two instances are, like, I knew it was a sign. Like, you know, sometimes you get something and you think it might be a sign, but you're not sure. But those two times, like, I knew it was a sign. Like, it was just too, just, it felt too meaningful, you know? Like, I just, like, knew it was a sign. So I really associate Hummingbird strongly with, with Hermes. Um, rabbits, I, I'm not sure. I think just because they're, they're seen as, like, swift, fast animals... Um, but that's just another UPG of mine, rabbits <laughs> with Hermes. Uh, but the, the turtle and the hawk are both historical. And then for Poseidon, the horse and the dolphin, which are also both historical. Um, those are all the ones I wrote down. I, I mean, obviously, like, I could say more, like, animals I associate with other, with other gods, but those are just the ones I wrote down. Um... So yeah, so those are just some of my personal animal associations for the gods. Uh, yeah, like I said, some historical, some UPG. So yeah, um, that's about it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. And may the gods bless you all. Bye.